In this second video on running Riva on GCP, we'll use the JupyterLab development environment on our VM instance to configure and launch the Riva server, then run Spanish to English speech to text and speech to speech translation. All right, now that we've started JupyterLab in our VM instance, let's launch a terminal and then Let's open the config script in the Riva Skills Quick Start folder. Our Spanish to English S to S translation pipeline entails transcribing Spanish audio, translating the transcribed Spanish text to English, and then synthesizing audio from the translated English text. We should therefore set service-enabled NLP to false. We should also change the language code from ENUS to ESUS. So Riva downloads Latin American Spanish rather than US English ASR models. Finally, let's uncomment the Megatron NMT the Any to English translation model. Now that we've edited config.sh in the Riva Quick Start folder, let's run Riva init.sh to download and deploy the desired models. This will take quite a while. It took about 45 minutes to download and deploy the ASR, NMT, and TTS models in our Spanish to English STS translation pipeline. Now, let's run the Riva start script to start the server. This should take a couple of minutes. And now the Riva server has started successfully. From here, let's make a copy of the NMT basics tutorial, which will modify slightly to run the translation demo. Off screen, I uploaded a new audio file to my VM instance. It contains a recording of a co-worker reading a line from Miguel de Cervantes' celebrated novel Don Quixote. I also added a cell allowing us to play that audio file. I modified the S to T config slightly. I enabled automatic punctuation and changed the sample rate to match that of the audio file which we're transcribing and translating. The audio file and config changes which I made in the S to T section also apply to the S to S section. I also found that I needed to add the model name parameter to the translation config component of the S to S config, which I didn't need to do for the S to T config. Finally, I modified this for loop over the streaming TTS responses slightly. I found that without these try and accept statements, this cell would crash before assembling the final fully synthesized audio clip of the translation. Now, let's return to the first code cell in the S to T section, run that cell and all the cells below it, and examine the results. Let's play the audio file. Cuando la vida misma parece lunática, ¿quién sabe dónde está la locura? Let's check the S to T translation. I don't speak Spanish, unfortunately, but based on what I've read, that's a pretty good translation. And finally, let's play the fully synthesized audio chunk. When life itself seems lunatic, who knows where the madness is? You now know how to run Riva on a single GCP node with the Riva VMI. Check out the next two-part video mini-series to learn how to set up and run Riva on Google Kubernetes Engine with Terraform and Helm, and thus scale up and scale out your speech AI inference.